Hey guys, Chris Wolf here. Welcome today to part six of this really really long series. All right, so a final part: how to get um, Google Play Store and all the other random Google apps back onto your device. All right, so first go to your device, click Option System Settings, and scroll all the way down to the bottom of the settings where you see Developer Options, and you see this one called Android Debugging. Check that, click OK, and then plug your device into the computer. Once it's uh, in your computer, just uh, you see this button that says this thing says USB connected. Um, click on the uh, click on the st uh, scrub the sales bar. Click on USB connected, and click turn on USB storage as usual. All right. So once you guys turn on USB storage, you will see that once again your two drives come up. Once again, go to your hard drive. I mean your your internal SD card, which would be this one for me. Now this is a lot of crap here. All right, and now go to um, this website called google.im slash blah 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 to download this file um so click okay now the thing about this file the thing about this website is that the servers are really really busy so it took me like 15 minutes to get access and download this file so being a nice guy i've re-uploaded the file for you guys onto um media file i'll give you guys the link in the description below however if um uh, it's again some copyright issues or whatever i will have to take it down so i'm just giving you guys the secondary address in case you guys in case my link got taken down or something though who knows why it would be taken down anyway all right so rubbish aside uh get gaps dot ic uh, dash ics 429 right uh, dash sign take this and drag it into your internal sd card right so it's copy it's a small file only 49.6 mb so it shouldn't take that long so once it's done close out of it and once again safely remove your sd cards Alright, safety remove your SD cuts. And let's head over to the Android. Alright, so once on your Android, turn it off again. This is becoming too repetitive. Um, reboot, uh, sorry, click power off. Turn off your Android, click OK. Let's shut down. Oh my goodness. Uh, I can't see that. Alright, so now when turning it on again, get into uh, recovery mode by pressing and holding the top power button and the volume up button at the same time. Once you see the Galaxy Tab logo, release it. Wait for a while. Look at AOKP SGN. And we will once again be in the familiar CWM base recovery menu. Yay. Alright, this time go to install zip from SD card once again. Um, click choose zip from SD card. Go down to GAPS ICS 201 sign That's it. Over here, click that. Go down to yes, install that rubbish. And it will start to mount apps, copy files, and basically install the files. So, I'll get back to you guys once the files, you know what, let's just wait out together, right? Uh, super tight, just went for a 2.4 kilometer jog, came back to the last video. Gosh. Alright, so once it says install from SD card complete, uh, yeah, you know what, uh, screw the focus. Click go back and click reboot system. Now, the first option. Let it reboot as usual. See the Galaxy Tab, be happy about it. See AOKP SGM once again, be happy about it. And wait, stare at the screen and wait for who knows how long. Uh, Alright, look at ping fluffy unicorns again and be happy about it. Hopefully this doesn't go on and on. If it goes on and on, they have to cut it. Uh, please, 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 just stop it, please. Please get to the home screen. Please. P1000, don't do this to me. Come on, you idiot. Come on. Yes! Alright. So, you say, optimizing application 5 of 21. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 10. Basically, this thing will run until 21. Really? You don't say? Alright, so it's at 19, 20, 21, and say starting applications. Woohoo. Finishing boot. Oh, well, what are you going to do next, huh? Finishing boot. Genius. And so, once we're done with finishing boot, we're back to the familiar lock screen. Unlock the phone. Go to applications, and. And tra la 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 la, sing a happy song, let the screen load. Alright, so once you've loaded, you would see that you're back to the familiar home screen, and you have the wonderful, amazing, awesome, beautifully beautiful Play Store over here. Yep, basically, we did, went through the whole thing 
just to get Play Store. Amazing, right? Alright, so click on Play Store. And you'll see this is the entire Play Store. You have to create a Google account, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so that's all, guys. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm back up. If you want to backup and stuff, basically go back to Play Store, download Titanium Backup, download SMS Backup Pro, blah, blah, blah. Copy your files back in and backup, basically. That's all you have to do. Alright, guys, thanks for watching this whole and going through with me six parts of rubbish to get ICS onto your Galaxy Tab P1000. Share, share this with all your friends. If your friends have a Galaxy Tab P1000, teach them how to do this, which is really awesome. Um, like, give me a thumbs up on the videos. Uh, they're really helpful. And subscribe. Alright, thanks guys for watching, and have a really nice day ahead of you. Bye.